What's up everyone, just a really quick video today. Um, I've been testing a few of these nozzles. I've been doing quite a bit of work on CAD. I've actually had some requests for, after seeing this nozzle, um, people wanted to know whether or not I could build a larger one. Um, I mean, these, these were only designed to test um, the, the setups that most people are putting together and effectively um, either give them something to use while they're waiting for a nozzle to turn up that they've ordered, either a Tacoma or uh, any others on the market um, or to rule out whether or not their gun is causing an issue. Now these are designed to be printed out, um, have all the scaffolding cleared off, assembled and to work straight off the printer. Um, and for the limited number that I've printed, uh, every single one of them has functioned without any issues. So um, that's been positive. But since then I have been um, contacted by a few people who wanted to know whether or not I could make them to suit these nozzles, make them a little uh, more hard wearing and longer lasting. Um, so that's what I'm testing at the moment. This is one of the, the prototypes. Uh, you can see there, there's that, um, the boron carbide type, uh, the black tip in there, uh, 10 millimeter. And I've always also been asked to uh, see if I can get them to set up and work off these uh, 20 mil pink alumina tips. But uh, today, um, I've just been testing a couple more of these to go out there on the last batch, but um, they, they didn't perform quite the way I wanted them to. Um, they were a little bit lazy, so I've given them a bit more of a tweak and they seem to be working better, so they'll, they'll go up online. Um, but the last thing was, uh, probably for the last year or so now, I've had a lot of requests for this one and it never really crossed my mind until now. Um, but when you use these fittings, they have a, um, a non-regular a thread in there so it's not like um, a three-quarter BSP fitting or something you can just grab from um, the average hardware store you actually have to go out and buy a um, I believe it's a, a, a 5 16 by 20 um, if I'm remembering rightly and the thread so you can see the thread on there and it's slightly different to if I just show you this one um, that one there is just your regular three-quarter BSP uh, that's a BSP T taper fitting these are straight and they have the um, the little o-ring on there um, to seal up so um, I quite often get um, queried as to what I do for these um, I just use the standard cap drill them out um, and then I thread them uh, that's a half inch by 20 I believe um, where's my tap gone uh, let's quickly look in here sorry about that yeah, it's a half by 20. Um, and then I just spin that up on the lathe. But not everyone has access to a lathe. Um, and I'm trying to make these a little bit more accessible. Um, so I've designed this up on CAD. And then it's a little difficult to do with one hand. Sorry about that. There we go. So then that'll just screw in there like that. So that can be printed straight off um, off the file. So I'll put those files up for free. Um, a lot of people have already bought the uh, books for designing these and have been stuck. Um, so I think I might even add that file into the, um, the nozzle design file. Um, I might put a couple of extra um, hose barbs in there just to um, make it a little easier to build those um, and I may even design a 3D printed nozzle to go in um, we'll see how I go over the next few weeks but um, mainly this video is just to state that these will be up on the website shortly um, I just had another email I think two or three days ago from someone who was asking whether or not I could do that so um, that's ready I'll put that up now um, I have tested it um, on the other nozzles not here right now um, but essentially it's just a plastic hose barb um, they don't have the longest longevity but if you just keep printing them if you break them or if they wear um, but yeah that's it it's all I've got to say for now um, I will update on this uh, it seems to be functioning quite well at this stage um, but not up to the point where I'm going to release it so um, these are already up and I've already sold a couple of them, um, the, the actual guns and there's been a handful of the STL files going out as well and it's cool, I'm starting to see some pictures come back in. So um, if you do buy the STL files and print them out, 
um, and you want to showcase your work, send it through and I'll start posting um, other builds. Uh, I also want to do a video um, over the years. I've had heaps of people send me pictures and um, videos of their cabinets they've set up from all over the world. Um, so I'll be reaching out to a few of those people um, just to see whether or not they're okay with me um, showcasing what they've done. So it's quite cool to see what people have converted um, and it brings me a lot of joy uh, to see that the videos that I've been making have been helping other people set up their own cabinets uh, in a low cost manner and to see some of the results they're getting. So that's uh, me for this video. Um, just a reminder, uh, these will be up online very shortly and when they're ready to go I will put the link in the description. So chances are by the time you see this they'll be up. Thanks for watching.